Montgomery Police announced late this afternoon it would make a special announcement. Yeah, the Montgomery Police Department is holding a news conference right now. Let's take you live to MPD headquarters where that news conference is underway. The chief speaking. Let's listen in. I want to thank the media for coming out and uh, highlighting some of this uh, information that we'll be passing off to the community today. It's always good to have our partners in the media support the efforts of the Montgomery Police Department. The Montgomery Police Department believes in 21st century policing and that policing model, which includes six pillars. One of those pillars speaks about building trust and legitimacy, and another speaks to crime reduction. Operations such as this, which you see in front of you today, is demonstrates our transparency to the community and our work towards crime reduction. I will say to those in the community who choose the life of crime, prison is the price you'll pay. Stop testing our community and stop testing members of the Montgomery Police Department. Now I'm going to pass this off to Captain Russell. His team was responsible for what you see here today, two separate cases, but as you look at the table and the display in front of you, you'll see it's a significant amount of narcotics that was going to hit the streets here in the city of Montgomery. And we know narcotics bring violence. We know, and looking at each of these cases that had a firearm attached to it, that that's, that's what makes our violence in our city rise. That's why our team is so aggressive in fighting uh, violent crime in our city. That's why we're aggressive in fighting gun violence in our city. And that's why we will continue to do this work. And at the end of every press conference, I'm always ending with the same thing. And I'll tell you, stay tuned, there's more to come. I have the utmost confidence in the members of this uh, police department in doing the work for the community. But again, I want to say thank you to the community for bringing those, in, uh, those items to our attention, letting us know what's going on in your community, what, letting us know what's going on in your neighborhood so we can address those and bring those responsible to justice. So at this time, I'll pass it off to Captain uh, Russell, and then we'll follow up with just a few questions. Captain Russell. Good afternoon. This morning, members of the Special Operations Division conducted a traffic stop that led to the seizure of approximately nine and a half pounds of marijuana and a nine millimeter semi-automatic handgun. Based on that traffic stop, members of the Narcotics Bureau were able to develop information that a subject was transported, was reported to be transporting a large quantity of narcotics in the city of Montgomery. Through investigative means, detectives were able to identify the suspect as being 29-year-old Levante Khan. Surveillance was established and the target of the investigation was observed in the 1300 block of the Eastern Boulevard. It was at that time members of the SWAT team, along with the gang unit, attempted to or executed a probable, probable cause stop with Khan. Upon initial contact, Khan attempted to flee in the vehicle. However, MPD was able to prevent the Khan's escape. Khan was then removed from the vehicle and placed in custody. A total of 436 grams of pure fentanyl, 226 grams of marijuana was located inside of Khan's vehicle. We also located a stolen 9mm Glock handgun inside of Khan's vehicle as well. It has been determined that the firearm was stolen during an armed robbery from another jurisdiction. We also discovered that Khan is currently out on bond for the charges of receiving stolen property first degree, unlawful possession of controlled substance, possession of marijuana first degree, and attempting to elude. We're currently working with the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office to file for a bond revocation hearing. Khan is currently facing new charges of trafficking and illegal drugs, the charges of, <coughs> with additional charges of possession of marijuana first degree, receiving stolen property second degree, and certain persons forbidden to carry a firearm pending. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Chief Dalton. So when you look at this fentanyl, we talked about it and it's been pre-tested. Uh, it's pure fentanyl. It's the poison that's on our street. It's the poison that our men and women respond to when folks are passed out on the side of the road in, a, in abandoned places. It's this poison that's hurting our children. So that's why it's so important for us. And that's what I talked about day one when I came here, that we're going to be tough on crime, yet kind on community. We will continue these type of efforts through our community. Questions? Did we say where this where where this um, this incident took place? Where the initial starting place was? Yes, sir. the uh, The initial starting place was around the area of Gibbs Village.
Do some questions. Thank you. The Montgomery Police Department holding what they called a special announcement this afternoon. They just called this within a couple hours ago to announce this drug arrest. They said they have taken a significant amount of drugs off the street in Montgomery. You saw those on display in front of the officers as they spoke there today. The chief talked about building the trust among the residents here in Montgomery while reducing crime. And he said drugs feed violent crime here in Montgomery. They announced the arrest of Levante Khan. He is charged with trafficking drugs and having possession of those drugs. A big note of significance, 436 grams of fentanyl that he said that they took during this traffic stop and this arrest today. He also mentioned marijuana, a stolen gun, and Mr. Khan was out on bond for other crimes, so they are working with the district attorney's office. You know, the chief continues to say, he said this from the very beginning, he's going to be tough on crime and kind on the community. He even thanked the community for coming forward. When they see something, they need to step up and say something. He said, stay tuned. That's something he has said a lot when he holds news conferences like this and he spoke to criminals he, he said stop testing the Montgomery Police Department his message that he is coming for those criminals who continue to break the law in the city of Montgomery but again they have made an arrest related to drug charges here in the capital city it started with a traffic stop here today this special operations SWAT team the gang unit of MPD involved in this arrest a Levante Khan he's now facing charges of trafficking drugs and having possession of drugs and he was already out on bond for pre Previous charges, so they are working with the district attorney's office to to keep him behind bars. Behind bars, they said that did happen in the area near Gibbs Village. That traffic stop, they were able to uh, discover those drugs along with that stolen gun. Yeah, prison is the price you'll pay for committing crime in the capital city. That is what the police chief said this afternoon. He talked about those drugs being poison that is hurting our children. But again, MPD showing all those drugs that they took during a traffic stop today now off the streets of Montgomery and one man is now facing charges. Our Monet Stevens is there at that press conference. She'll have much more for us coming up in our later newscast here on WSFA 12 News. We'll also have more on WSFA.com. That's right.